Hi, I'm Jan and welcome to Hoop It Up with Jan. This is a channel about uh, cross stitch where I share my love of stitching and um, some crochet intermingled and some quilting sometimes and maybe some sewing. But today primarily is going to be about cross stitch. Um, this is my floss tube number 11. Today is March the 14th and it's been about three weeks, I believe, since my last floss tube. I intend to do every two weeks, but every three weeks seems to be where it's been uh, landing here recently. So that might turn out to be my, my new sweet spot there on when to uh, post a new video. So trying to find a good um, schedule that works where I don't feel like I'm having to rush to video um, too quick since my last one and not have very much to share. So we'll see how that goes. So let's see what's been going on in my life since the last floss tube. I, um, for those of you that have followed me, you know that my mom lives with me. Uh, she has a pacemaker and so she, we had to go get her battery charged. <laughs> we call her the Ever Ready Battery. Oh uh, no, the Ever Ready Bunny. But she had to go get recharged. So um, actually she had to get a new battery put in and we joke about it and say that, um, that she had to get a recharge. But um, so that was a procedure. She didn't have to go under full anesthesia but she did get knocked out a little bit, and so she's healing from that. Um, if that ever has to be charged up again, now that's uh, kind of like your iPhone, they can just put something on top of it and recharge it the way I understand it. So hopefully she doesn't have to go through that again. Um, we also got, I got a new internet. I um, splurged and went with the I live in a rural area, so I don't have a whole lot of choices for high-speed internet. So I went with uh, Starlink, and it's really made a big difference. Um, I used to have to go up to Starbucks to upload my videos um, or let them upload overnight and into the next day. So hopefully that'll make um, uploading my videos much easier and quicker and um, really enjoying that um, and since I work from home it's nice to have um, a little more reliability I guess the other one was good it just would drop signals more frequently than I would prefer I had a sleepover with a few of my grandkids so that was fun uh, always fun to see them playing, you know, they're older so they don't play, but hanging out together and joking around and giving each other hard times and stuff like that. It's it's fun to, to watch them uh, grow into, um, you know, people versus children. I know children or people it's hard to young young people young young adults so that that's real fun to watch and I had a stitching meetup with a friend and that's always fun she lives out at the lake and it's always real nice to just go out and see the water and stitch and she's got a nice big window where you can just view the water from your stitching chair and it's just beautiful out there. I really enjoy going out there. So that's what I've been up to. Um, stitching, of course. And, you know, living life, day-to-day -day stuff. But nothing real, nothing real exciting to share. So let's get into my whips and talk about what I have been doing stitching-wise. 
I have a finish. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. And um, it is just a small, it is uh, Lucky Enough Matilda by um, Finally a Farm Girl. I like the Matildas. I'm going to have them all stitched and hanging on my little ornament tree eventually. I have two up there now. But this is, let's see, this is stitched on um, where is that? This is stitched on 40 count Water Nymph by B Stitch Me. I think I might have been in um, a Fabric of the Month club or something like that. Um, and that's where I got this um, fabric. But I think she's adorable. I'll probably just do like a square ornament or a very lightweight pillow so that she can hang on that tree. The branches aren't real strong on that tree, so it's got to be light, lightweight. If you're interested in my, um, I did do a conversion on, um, these are all silks. I consider uh, finally a farm girl's. She has a series of Matilda charts. And I consider Matilda a fancy lady. And I think she deserves silks. And um, I've posted my conversion on my post with this um, on Instagram. On Instagram, my handle is at Jan Holder. So that is lucky enough. Getting ready for St. Patty's Day. And next I have Horses in the Surf by Stitching Jewels Designs. That's what that's going to look like. It's a monochromatic. It is turning out so cool. Really enjoying stitching on this one. Let me get it situated. I tell ya, I still haven't come up with a good way of getting this done. But. It works. Haven't had any complaints, so I guess it's good. All right, so that is where I am at. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm kind of started trying to do like a diagonal here. This is a 25 count Easy Grid Lugana. And um, I'm using the, um, I think it's a 12 weight Sulky black thread, one strand over one full cross. And the floss looks like this. It's a 12 weight sulky. What that looks like, it comes in the bigger spools and then it also comes in the petite spools. But since I was doing a bigger piece, I just went ahead and bought one of the bigger spools. The weight of this is um, 
they claim it's, I think they claim it's like equal to two strands of DMC. I think it's more like one and a half. Um, but that's just my opinion. So that is, you can see the head of that horse and then its feet and all the water that's splashing up is starting to come into play there. And this is really one that is so fun to watch. You know, when you're stitching on it, it's just black dots. But then when you, you know, pull it back, you see it come into play and all the highlights in the horse, horse's head. Love it. Very fun to stitch on. So that is Horses in the Surf by Stitching Jewel Designs. Um, I believe it's stitchingjeweldesigns.com. Um, also, she has a YouTube, a floss tube channel. And in that floss tube channel, um, she has a link to her website. So I will... I'll link her web her. I'll link her floss tube and her website in the description show notes. Oh my God. Okay. Next is another monochromatic. Take this one out. This is the letter J by GGR. My name starts with J, so I thought it'd be cool to hang in my room. I am stitching this on, oh, let me back up one second. On the horses in the surf, I had gotten since the last floss tube 1815 stitches in on that. And lucky enough, Matilda, I had gotten in 1440 on that one. Okay, back to letter J. This is stitched on 40 count Bria. By Needle and Flax. It is an absolute gorgeous fabric. Gorgeous fabric. Um, stitching one over two. I believe it's a Soie d'Alger. Yes, Soie d'Alger, I know I'm not saying that right, 29.25 is the color that I'm using. Let me get my stuff together here. Oh, that's that. I think since the last time you saw it, if I remember correctly, I think I've done... I believe this bunny was done. Not sure about the beehive, but I believe from here over is what I have done since the last time you saw it. That is, let's see. I'm looking down, I have my computer here with my notes in it, so. I did 2,114 stitches in that since the last time you saw it. And this is, that's the full width of it. So I'm not sure how far down it goes, but that's what the 
rest of the fabric looks like and that's looking pretty true to color let me get a that's looking pretty true to color I don't know, it's something about um, that red fabric that almost, I mean, not the fabric, that red um, floss, it almost looks like it's old, you know, because of the fabric, it looks like it's kind of aged and maybe bled kind of onto the fabric. It just looks so cool. But yeah, that's the letter J by GGR. And they have, um, I believe they have all the letters of the alphabet. Um, in that chart. Well, you can buy them separately, but I think they have a chart for every letter of the alphabet. And then I worked on I got some lights. I ordered some lights on um <clears throat> hoping those it's helping <clears throat> my lighting but <coughs> excuse me I had to figure out where to put them so they didn't reflect in my glasses so hopefully they're in the right place so um the village of Hawkorn Hollow what I've worked on I've got these two Finished, I believe. I need to finish some of the letters on this one, and I started that block. And let's see. I am stitching this on 40 count. Country, vintage country mocha. Mm. I got a thread hanging, but Right here, this is um, hanging there, but that is where I am at. I changed the name of, this was Olga's boarding house. I changed that to Anna's boarding house because my great-grandmother sold eggs back in the day and saved her money and bought herself a boarding house. And her name was Anna. And it was in Blevins, Arkansas. I think it was on, um, I have to double check with my mom, but I think it was on a road called New Boston Road in Blevins, Arkansas turned out to be the house my mom was born in. So I thought that would be neat to commemorize that. And I need to finish the words on this one and then continue on on that one. So since you last saw this one, I got... 1,308 stitches. And 
and I am using the, I kind of splurged on this one big time. I am using the, sorry, um, Vicki Clayton has a silk conversion on her website and I am using her silk conversion and I put them on floss drops because I like to just be able to um, pull out one floss at a time. But aren't that, isn't that just eye candy? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Well, that is the village of Hawk Run Hollow. It is fun to pet. <laughs> okay. And next, let me put this away so we don't get all lost. And last but not least for my whips. I worked on the owl by Ed, Ed, kitted by Andriana. Luca S. has this same design charted. They have it on white fabric. I liked it on the black, so I went with theirs. And I got, the, I went up and uh, this is as far down as it will go. And so I worked my way up on this side to the eye. And I got 827 stitches in since the last time you saw it. I think I didn't have any of the beak filled in the last time either. I think it came down and was like right about here. I think I got all that done. He is so majestic. I enjoy working on him. And I'm using the kit floss and the kit fabric, which is a 16 count black Ada. Two over one. And that is all I have where whips are concerned. Um, so double check here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Going into my plans on what I hope to do for um, between now and the next floss tube. Um, Try to come up with a way to rotate my whips. And so I created some categories. I created seven categories. And what I hope to do is pick one item from each of those, at least one item from each of those categories to stitch on between floss tubes. I did a, my categories are one strand a day and that's where I would um, 
just what it says, put in, uh, you know, cut a length of floss, uh, you put in one strand of that, whether it be, I haven't decided if it's, you know, when you cut it, it's six strands, so I don't know if it, if I'm just going to do, pull the one strand out and do just that one, or if the six or a strand, so do I do all six of those strands on that one day? I think it's just the one. What do we need? Let me know. Do you do a one strand a day? And if so, is it just one strand of the six strands for the day, or is it all six of the strand that you know, when you cut it, it's six pieces. Do you use all six of those and then move on? I don't know if I'm explaining that well or not. Um, so one strand a day, a dimensions, a full coverage, or what I'm calling a pictorial, um, a monochromatic, a sal, a sampler, and a small. Those are my categories that I'm trying to put all my whips into. And so, and then pick at least one of those. One, <laughs> one project out of those categories between floss tubes. Uh, I hope that's understandable. Huh? Like a hot mess. Um, so this one is in the sow um, category. I plan to work on that. I am stitching this with I am a stitch nerd and Moonshine Stitchery. That's Phoebe and Laurel. Um, I need to get this side of this border done for the Mar month of March. So I need to work on that. I plan to work on um, I have this in two categories because it's a sampler but it's also a sow. So since the dwelling place was, oh, shoot. I am just fumbling all over the place here. Oh, I'm not going to show that. Since the dwelling place is a sow also, then I plan on stitching this for the sampler category. Um, but I'm putting it in my hashtag wall of positivity sow. Um, it's a sow for my wall that I have next to my bed that I want to hang a bunch of positivity type messages so that when I wake up in the morning, it sets my day off. Um, so this is, in all things, be exceedingly dil diligent by needlework press. So I plan on working on that. before the next floss tube. I plan on working on A Simple Life by Teresa Cogut. This is also a sampler, so it's in the sampler category, so I guess I have two in the sampler category. I'm going to work on that. This was a Patreon sow, but since that sow is long gone, I am just calling it a sampler at this point. I'm going to work on the Wolf Dimensions Kit Petite. I got a lot done on that one, so I could 
If I really focused in on that one, I could come up with a completion. Um, and then I want to work on this 1816 Verland sampler. It is in the monochromatic category. And I am already not choosing well in my categories because this is another sow that I need to work on. So I just kind of made, I kind of picked my, honestly, this time around, I picked what I wanted to work on. And then I said, I should create categories and pick one from each. And um, so those categories may not fit this time around, but um, I want to work on Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs in the um, stitch along with cross stitch the globe and julie in stitches the hashtag fab for fan sal and um sarah with sarah stitchy spot has a sale that she's doing with someone i think it's magical Hashtag magical mystery, mis mystery tour sal, I think. I'll put those hashtags um, I'll have those hashtags next time when I show you my progress. So that's my plans for the next few weeks uh, would also, I don't know, I've kind of been getting in the mood a little bit to do some sewing, whether or not it um, really happens or not. I've been kind of in the mood to make a couple of project bags, so maybe I'll do that. I don't know, no promises. My arm, uh, when I broke it, I couldn't use a rotary color cutter because I couldn't put the pressure um, down on the rotary cutter enough to cut the fabric. And um, I tried rotary cutting the other day and it seemed not to hurt too bad. So maybe I can, maybe I can try and, cause a project bag, if I have to, I can use scissors and cut it, but I still just, that arm just doesn't have the precision, you know, it, I can't control it as well as I would like. So it's a work in progress, just like my whips. Uh, okay, let's talk about stuff that I have bought. I have bought, I have been wanting these I saw these, uh, first time I saw these was up in Keepsakes a few years ago. Um, and I was in that shop and they didn't have the charts. And I've, it's been, I'm guessing two to three years since I saw them. And I've been wanting to get them and wanting to get them and I, I haven't gotten them. And I'm like, you know what, I better get those because Sure enough, they're gonna go out of print and then I'm gonna wish I had them and I'm not gonna have them. So it is the um, Lessons in Abracadarian by Brenda Gervais. It's a series of four. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two. They're the summer schoolhouse 
Lessons in Abyssidarian. Lesson number three. And lesson number four. So I got those off of the Brenda Duray's website. If I remember, I will put a link to that website in the show notes. So you can go check that out. I bought some fabric from XJU Designs. So pretty. This is a 40 count old linen. Oh, it smells, I love the way her linen smells. It's a good thing this isn't like a audition video <laughs> or like a TV show or something. <laughs> oh, this is Old Linen, 40 Count by XG Design. Her linen is absolutely amazing. And she sent with it a little gift. Um, of some floss. Along with it. There we go. There's that. So, that was a purchase to add to my fabric stash. I'm sure I will find something very quickly to put on that. And then everyone knows Nashville Market just came to a close and I've gotten some of my pre-orders. I bought the, I didn't go crazy. I wasn't going to buy anything, but you know how that goes. Um, I bought the Brenda Gervais Every Opening Flower. Um, I think this must have been like an exclusive on a retreat or something because someone was showing it on their floss tube the other day. I don't remember who. But what got me was those flowers. It was, it was so pretty. So I had to buy that. And then I always buy any of the Blackbird designs when they come out. So I got the Moments of Glad Grace book. It's got four projects. And it and I love more strong booklet by Blackboard Designs, and there are three projects in this booklet. And that, my friends, is my haul. So not too bad, I don't think. Uh, not too much, I mean. And the only thing I have to left to talk about is a couple of floss tubes I've watched. I found, actually, today at lunchtime, I came across one that I really enjoyed. She was doing a... Uh, kit Parade. Her name was Heidi. It's Whips and Kits. Whips 
and Kit, and I enjoyed it a lot. She um, had a lot of similar tastes of the stuff that I like to stitch, so I plan on, I think she's got six floss tubes, and then this Kit Parade, I think is what, so I plan on going back and um, binge watching hers and um, catching up before she gets too many more so I can get to know her a little bit. And also I have been following, so this one isn't new to me. I've been following her for quite a while. Her name is Lisa Abbey and it's Lisa Abbey's Needlework. Um, I just think I like the stuff that she does. She's very creative. Um, she tries to do things on a budget, which I appreciate. And so she's creative in using what she has and putting things together. And I really like that. And she has a real, she seems real sweet and, um, real nice voice. Um, but yeah, go check her out. She's real sweet. So, um. Gosh, I feel like I just kind of flew through that. Let me see if I have missed anything. Um, I think that's about it. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you to um, everyone that's subscribed to my channel so far. If you're new I wanna, and you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. And hopefully you enjoyed what you saw and will uh, click that subscribe button and the notifications so that um, you get notified when I post another video. Um, I think that's about it. So I'll leave you with that. And until next time, I hope you... Stitch what you love and love what you stitch. And we'll see you next time.